Hi, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, thank you for stopping by. The first card we're going to make is with some duct tape from the dollar store, which I guess isn't really trash, but, you know, most people have it around their house, and it's kind of, like, indisp indispensable. Um, the first one is gray, regular duct tape, and I just covered a card front with it, and the more messy that you are, the better it turns out, in my opinion. So you just cover the whole card front with it, and then flip it over and fold it over the back, it literally doesn't matter if you get wrinkles on it because it adds to the character of the card. And I was trying to be very particular here about how I covered the card up with the duct tape. It took me way too long. <laughs> it's so funny when you go back and watch these and you're like, did it really take me that long to do this? And yes, because even with editing, it still feels like it took way too long to do this. Um, one thing I will say is the end that I'm not folding over right here, I didn't leave enough overhang so it didn't it didn't work the greatest it was fine but I would leave a little bit more overhang to fold it over not just go right up to the edge because that just makes like a sticky lip then um, and then I used my Dymo label maker and I cut out they or I printed out the, the sentiment that says they say duct tape fixes everything um, I saw this idea on Pinterest it was I adapted it to work for me and I couldn't find a true source so I really don't know who to thank for the idea for this card um, but then I put the card front onto the card base glued it on stuck it on with my magic or my make art station so it would stick together and then I put the whole card into my misty and I put the get well soon sentiment in there and I stamped it with my onyx black versafine ink and it turned out beautifully the next card I had some holographic duct tape which I also got at Dollar Tree and I put a strip of it and I used my Alta New Alphabet die set and I cut out the words B-Day. One thing I will say that I did on this card that I made a mistake with and I did not repeat on the second one is I taped the duct tape too far over the edge like I think I went an inch over the edge on each side and that was too far because it was really hard for the dies to cut through the two layers of tape and the cardboard, or I mean, and the cardstock. So on the second version of this card that I make in this video, I do not fold the tape over as far. And then I also cut through some foam so I could pop my letters up some fun foam. And that's what you're doing. I'm doing here is the fun foam. Um, I think, no, that's still the card base. Fun foam comes next. But I popped through the opposite color letters on the card base and here you see me not realizing that my card front was not already adhered to the card base and I almost made a major mistake and glued the letters on when the card base or the card front was not adhered and so it was not in the right spot. There I am fixing my mistake before it got too late. Putting the glue on so that the card front could be adhered to the white card base and then I could put my letters right where they needed to be. Woo! Crisis adverted way to fix a potential mistake. <laughs> this is really fun. I love this iridescent um, duct tape. Um, this card I did actually, I put fun foam behind the letters just to pop them up a little bit. And the one below that, which is the back black card front with the red strip of tape and the silver letters, I did not do that. I just wanted to see difference wise how it would be and I mean I like them both the one that's completely one layer that one's cool and the one with the fun foam popped up letters that one's cool too they just every they both have their merits but here I am gluing the card front onto the card base before I start sticking the letters in so I don't have a mishap like I almost did with the last card feel like these could you know they could work for a kid they could work for a masculine card or a universal card and I have a sentiment stash cup with lots of different sentiments in it so that would work for anybody and this is this next card I'm working on this was a box that I got my shampoo and conditioner in from my stylist it's matrix I think and it was beautiful I was about to throw the box away and I saw how pretty it was and I was like "Ooh, I have to make a card out of that so 
And then this is also a box that I got with a head massager for Christmas. So I saw the beautiful coloring on here and stuff and I decided to rescue the parts I could to make a card out of. Which I will admit I don't know that I've ever done this before with taking basically what should have been trash and turning it into a card. So coincidentally I finished this video right after Christmas. Which means I guess I had some good trash to turn into cool cards. Um, I obviously got a little sidetracked here. I started cutting the hexagons and then I decided I would do the other box first uh, too. So I'm kind of like midway on both projects. But that um, the golden black was 10 inches long so I cut it into two five inch pieces and then I took a marker and I colored the edges of the piece so it would look more finished. That's a Jennifer McGuire tip. And this, I had a sentiment in my sentiment stash so I wanted to put a background on it so it would pop on the card base. So what I did was I cut two dies that were the same shape as the sentiment but I cut two separate like halves basically and I just separated them a little bit and it turned out really cool. So I feel like that's a good way to stretch your supplies. I just kind of like eyeballed it and glued them together just so there'd be a little background on it and it's just about done. Look at how cool it turned out. All right so here we are. I'm figuring out what I want to do with this one. I really didn't have too much of a plan. I just knew it was pretty and I wanted to turn it into cards for this video. So I was kind of like just playing around to see how it would fit and everything. And I will say I'm loving it. It's simple and I feel like I could have done more to the base of the card to, you know, make it more creative, but I decided to pop up the sentiment on some foam squares and there we go. I love this card. And it's cool that the majority of it was trash and I saved it and turned it into a card. So now I'm making a black card base to do with the gold and purple hexagons I cut out. I scored my card base so it's a top holding card. And the the box had a little bit of a wrinkle in it from when I disassembled it. So I used the bone folder to kind of like rub out the wrinkle in the card. And there I am digging through my sentiment cup to try to find something that I felt like worked with this card. For some reason all of my sentiments are black ink on white paper. Maybe I should be a little more creative. I'm going to start foiling some more sentiments and have them in my cup as well. But this one is pretty simple. I just cut that a strip of that and then I'm using a photo cleaner wipe to wipe the fingerprints off that card off the pretty shiny gold paper. And then it's good to go. I just need to put a white liner on the inside. And here's the hexagons. I'm really just playing around with it because I'm not even sure what I want to do with the number of hexagons that I have. And at this point I don't even know if I have a sentiment I want to use so I'm just kind of messing around and seeing what I like. And I did not like that sentiment with the hexagons. And so that one got put back in the sentiment cup. It's funny how when you start making a card and you think you have an idea but then you put it together and it doesn't turn out the way you envisioned it. So there I think I found a sentiment that's a winner. I'm going to cut it down to size and see what I think I want to do with it to make it stand out on the card. There I am deciding to cut it on an angle and use my scrap envelope to get a black backer to put behind it. I love having a little paper trimmer so handy. And there I just stuck the... All right and then I'm going to rub out some of the wrinkles in the hexagons that I have here for this card. Try to make them look a little cleaner. And now I'm going to cut the angle on my sentiment strip so it will look complete and glue it on. And one thing I will say is that as I glue the hexagons on I want to make sure that the spacing is even so I'm going to do the one right above the sentiment first and glue that down and then I'm going to do the top one so that I can make sure that the one in the center is spaced evenly and then I'm just going to glue the whole card front onto the card base and then I'll put a white um, sheet of paper on the inside a white sheet of cardstock on the inside of the black card and then here's all the cards my duct tape card which I love I think I'll make a few of those um, the black birthday card the blue birthday card 
and that beautiful card i love that one and then the very last one or not the last one second to last one and there's the hexagon card love it thank you for stopping by have a great day